Some years, it feels like Premiership teams are more easily predicted than others. I was thinking about Collingwood's 2023 Premiership recently, and how them becoming Premiers that year seemed quite foreseeable considering their amazing 2022. So then it got me thinking, how often is it the case that the Premiership team comes from the group of teams expected to be a series contender at the start of the year? I guess you could frame the question in the inverse too. How often does a team win a Premiership who is not considered a realistic contender going into that year? In this video, I'm going to sift through the last 20 or so seasons and pick out the Premiership teams that no one really saw coming. Before Collingwood, there was Geelong, and while they had been expected to decline for some time due to their ageing list, they had been a perennial contender for years and probably don't count as unpredictable. But then, there is Melbourne in 2021. The Dees had a topsy-turvy few seasons going into that year. They had played in a prelim, they had finished second last, and then they had finished ninth. When we saw them play in the grand final in 2021 against the Bulldogs, it was a matchup between 7th and 9th from the previous year, and while the Demons flag win seems understandable in hindsight, given the talent profile, very few would have picked the Demons as a serious premiership contender going into that season. Richmond had gone back to back in 2019 and 2020, and given the amazing team they were through this period, they were never really considered anything other than a contender during those seasons. But we can take a look at their 2017 premiership win, which definitely qualifies as one we didn't see coming. The Tigers, having exited finals in week 1 of each of the previous three years, had slumped to 13th spot in 2016 with pressure mounting on their coach Damien Hardwick. They finished 3rd in 2017 with 15 wins and 118%, and I would even argue at that point in time they seemed like an unlikely premier. But the team that would emerge in that final series was utterly dominant, dispatching Geelong, GWS and the Crows with ease on their way to a drought breaking premiership. The grand final matchup was a battle between 5th and 13th from the previous year, one that few could have reasonably predicted. We skipped over 2018 here, where West Coast and Collingwood went head to head in the grand final. Collingwood had finished 13th the year previous and 12th the year before that. West Coast had finished 8th and while they won a final, they were picked by many to be a team to slide into the bottom 4 that year due to retiring veterans. The grand final matchup in itself seemed out of the blue, with 8th prevailing over 13th by a mere 5 points. As far as unexpected premierships go, the Western Bulldogs in 2016 has to come to mind pretty quickly. The Dogs had finished 14th in 2014, then jumped into the top 6 in 2015. But what makes their premiership truly remarkable was where they were placed at the start of the 2016 final series. They had finished 7th, and while they had 15 wins, which is more in line with other previous premiers, they had finished the season in lacklustre fashion with a bad loss to Fremantle in the final round. Not only that, but they would need to make the grand final the hard way, travelling to both Perth and Sydney, and having to take on the three-peat Hawks at the MCG. The Bulldogs winning the 2016 premiership remains to this day one of the most surprising and inspiring flags of all time. Hawthorne won the previous three premierships, and given their dominance through this period and status as a perennial contender, none of these qualify as surprising. Their 2008 premiership is probably a lot closer, but they did finish 5th the year previous. But given their brilliant grand final performance as slight underdogs against the raging Geelong, they are worthy of an honourable mention here. Geelong in 2007 however, are a very worthy candidate. The Cats finished 10th in 2006 and took on Port Adelaide in the grand final, the team who had finished 12th. The Cats had made a prelim in 2004 and a semi-final in 2005, and the power were only three years removed from our premiership, so perhaps this wasn't altogether shocking. But regardless, it would have taken a brave man to predict at the start of the 2007 season that the grand final would be played off by two teams that missed the finals of the previous year by some distance. So in summary, that's roughly one in three years out of the last 15 that has produced an unlikely grand final matchup, let alone an unlikely premiership team. If we extrapolate that rate, it means that we could be due for another surprising grand final matchup in 2024. I predicted a Sydney vs GWS grand final at the start of the year, but perhaps even that is too predictable. Comment down below a surprising grand final matchup you think we could see, and I'll see you in the next video.